Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Did you ever wish you had a website where you could share your images? Maybe you just want to share them with your friends and family. On the other hand, maybe you're a professional and you want to share them with a client. Or maybe you just want a website where you could have your images and share them with the world. Well, did you know, if you're a Creative Cloud subscriber, that's already built in and you could do it from inside a Lightroom. In this video, I'm going to show you how. Before we begin, if you could do me a favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel and remember to click that little bell so you get updates. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you know of anyone that would like this video, please share it. And finally, follow me on Instagram. I am at Anthony Morganti on Instagram and in the description below this video, I'll have a link to my Instagram so you could find it. All right. You have a bunch of images and you want to share them with the world. Now, it doesn't matter if you're an enthusiast, a beginner, or a professional, and you want to share your images somehow, some way. Well, if you're a Creative Cloud sub subscriber, it's really very easy. Now, I have a folder. I have 13 images of birds, and I just want to share these with the world. Well, I could go and buy a domain and set up a website and do all the coding and get these images up there, or I could just do it from inside a Lightroom, and it's really super easy. First of all, just click on your first image. The last image you want to share, hold the shift key down and click on it. So all 13 of these images are selected. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here to collections and I'm going to click on this little plus sign and I'm going to create a collection and I'm going to give it a name. I'm just going to call it birds and I want to include the selected photos and I want to sync these photos with Lightroom. That is important. Make sure you click sync with Lightroom. Then click create. Now, once you do that, it's actually going up and sending these images to the cloud. And you may have to log into Adobe to get this to happen. And to do that, you would do that inside of Lightroom as well. Over here on the left hand side, click this little down expose triangle, and you may have to log in over here. I'm already logged in, so it's already syncing. Now, once it's done, you look over here, it says make public. Click on that little button and it's going to generate a URL. Once it generates the URL, click on that URL. It's going to open up a web page and there it is. Look at this. Click on it. There's the photo, the first photo. I could hit this little uh, triangle to the right. And go to there's the next one there's the next one and so on and so forth and i could keep cycling through and looking at these images that i just shared with the world now maybe you want to allow those that look at the images to see some other attributes like uh, the metadata the location info um, maybe allow them to download the images well in that case what you'll need to do is go over to this website, lightroom.adobe.com. Now you may have to log in again. So once you log in, and I'm going to refresh this, and once I refresh it, you'll notice over here under albums, there's that collection. It's the birds. I'll click on it, and you can see there's all those 13 images. Go over here to the right, and you can see this little circle with a plus sign on it. Click on that. Those are our share settings. Now this is the URL that you would share for people to look at these images. You could copy it to the clipboard and then you could open up a new web page or you could share it, uh, send it in an email to your client or to friends and family. And once they do, they'll come to here. And again, they could click and go through the images. They could hit the I key to see some info about the image. They could leave a comment. They could favorite it and do all that there. Now, once we go back over here for a second, there's other things you could allow them to do. Click on settings and you could see that you could allow them to J, uh, download a JPEG version, a JPEG, a JPEG version of the image, easy for me to say. You could show the metadata. You could show the location info. You could allow the comments and likes. By default, that will be on. You could turn any of these on or off. Um, you could um, then 
just change these attributes at any time. Also, this album is dynamic. And what I mean by that is, if I go into Lightroom and I decide that I want to uh, process this differently, I could go over to the develop module, let's say, and I could go here and let's just make it black and white. Okay, so I made that image black and white. What will happen is that will dynamically get updated over here. And once you go to your images, uh, whichever image it was that I made black and white, I think it was that one. May have to refresh. There it is, it's black and white, so it's dynamic. Also, you could add images to that collection or you could remove images from that collection and it will automatically update on that web page. So I could come back in. I don't want that black and white, by the way. So we'll go back to color. I mean, it's a beautiful bird. Why would I want it black and white? So again, dynamically gets done to the image and it takes, it has to, there, now it's color again. So you could see it's really very, very powerful. You could add images to it, remove images from it, process images or reprocess images that are already there and it will dynamically update that url that you could share with the world so super cool it's a part of your uh, creative cloud subscription that a lot of people don't even realize they have so take advantage of it and um you know let me know how you like it in the comments below and that's it that's how you could share your images with the world via Lightroom. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.